Hello and welcome to a video that I don't know if it's going to turn into a series called Glassfoot's a Dumbass. I bought a Gundam because uh, I am a massive fan of anime and mecha specifically and I thought it might be amusing to watch me try to build this damn thing because it's the first one that I've ever owned. The, and my cat is running around like an asshole, so if she jumps on here, that's why. All right, well, I hope this video works out. I have three cameras recording me right now. Uh, my GoPro is the one up there, and it's connected to my phone right there. So if you see me point there or look down there at any time, it's checking that that thing is still recording. Uh, I'm gonna probably have to stop every 30 fucking minutes if I don't finish this in 30 minutes to uh, redo everything, and hopefully none of the batteries die, because I really don't want to fucking film this more than once. <sighs> so, with all that said, uh, prepare for me yelling at my cat and being very confused by any and all instruction I see for this as I get steadily sweatier and sweatier while building uh, the Barbatos Lupus Rex from Mobile Suit Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans. Let us begin. Okay, from what I understand about Gunpla, which is next to nothing, um, it's very simple uh, because pictures, because I can't read any of this. It's all Japanese, which is a language I cannot read nor do I understand any of it. But so hopefully I do this right, because there are colorful pictures that should be able to help me get these right. Oh my god, there's so many parts. I don't know what this is. It's like a tiny little, like, wire piece that, it's literally copper wire. I don't know what this is for. All right, I'm just gonna say this, like, before I get any further into this. I very much understand that this is a niche-ass video. Uh, the likelihood of most people, even my small, tiny audience of like 36 subs, are probably not gonna wanna watch this. I'm doing this because I want to, and I think it'll be funny as I try to confusedly figure this out. But yeah, if you at all care, or at all see, wanna see an idiot try and figure out how to build Gunpla, you have come to the right video. Ah, this is so stressful because I don't know if I'm like hurting the pieces. Yay! I got the first piece! It's very tiny. I legit have no clue if anyone can see that piece on any camera. Even on the GoPro. Prepare for a lot of like sped up footage or skipped over steps because... Yay! I have like the first completed part. Well, I'm glad I fucking looked that up. I'm blind. I, I can't. Where the hell? Huh? Oh. oh. Fucking ow. Well, I guess that was a bad idea. I guess you're not getting overhead shots for this video. <laughs> Unless I can figure something else out. There's, there's no real easy way to get overheads in my room, so I taped the GoPro to my... Uh, to a light right above my room. Oh, and for the, like, real fast, for, the, like, the two of you wondering why I chose Iron-Blooded Orphans over, say, any other Gundam, one of my favorite Gundams, and one of the first things I found. Ow. Oh, that actually cut the back of my hand. What the hell? I have no clue if, like, this video is gonna actually get ever aired, because, uh, I have one battery for that and one battery for that. So when they die, they die. Because I am not going to spend the next 30 minutes after these. So I have three batteries for this camera. So I might just set it up as an almost overhead and film that way once these two finally die. Alright, well, the, um, the main torso bit is built. I'm going to be zooming in a lot to show you that. Or if it shows up on this camera. Well, you're gonna die, so I'm actually gonna stop recording with this camera now. Uh, as you can tell, I have now moved this camera closer because my tiny little point-and-shoot... Uh, because 
my tiny little point shoot that I was using died. I only have one battery for this thing, which, yeah, no, I know, super professional, only have a single fucking battery, but too bad. Now you've got this angle. Uh, what I was showing you earlier, I got focus, god damn it. Focus, damn it. Kind of. Uh, this little thing. But so, all right, so now I should continue on. Oh cool, now we're moving on to the head. Oh my god, these are the smallest fucking pieces. These are so tiny. What, what way does this go? Does it go like this? Cool, yay, I got part of the face. I think that's the chin, but I'm not positive. You do not know how much, how much I wish you actually saw my face and saw how sweaty I am fucking getting from doing this video. I cannot film with my AC on. You do not know how much of a pain it is to not film with AC. I really wish that I had centralized air conditioning in this room. No, I have a box fan. Not a, not even a fucking box fan. I have like a, one of those window mounts. <sighs> it's death when it is like 90 degrees and I'm filming. I love filming in winter, that's totally fine because my room feels fucking great, but not right now, mm mm. This sucks so much. At least they're bright yellow so I can see them against the black taped surface. That is my desk. What fucking way does it go? Wait, what? Ho hold off, ah, ah, it fell off. No, it's falling apart. I don't want to lose these tiny, tiny fucking pieces. Ah. Think that's how it goes? That can't be how it goes. No, it has to be the other. What the hell? Fuck that tiny ass chin piece. Okay, that makes more sense. Oh, hello. That's more better. Ah! My hands are not suited for this tiny, tiny, delicate work. There we go. Now it looks like a Gundam. I want to give it its green eyes first. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, I guess I was supposed to put it on before. I missed like a step, like five steps ago, and so I need to. Take at least the bloody head off. And I have to put all of this back together. All right, now to put all of this back together very, very meticulously because... Pfft. Well, his head's on now. If it'll focus on him, but his head's on. Oh, yay! Great, where the fuck do these... Okay, they're tiny, tiny stickers. I hate this. Does it... Go like, like this? Wait, what? Oh, wait, what? Oh, it goes on the outside. What? The pictures are confusing me. I don't know. Ah. Okay, I got it right. Only by looking at like a later, more completed version of the picture. Oh, that makes a much more sense. Why the fuck is it covered in cat hair? It has not touched the ground. Part of me while I'm doing all this like wants to talk about anime and stuff, but I know I'm gonna distract myself if I do. Part of the thing is I want this channel to remain what I want it to be as my channel. I refuse to pigeonhole myself with any specific type of content. Oh, and there are people shooting off fireworks. Yay. I don't understand why it's 22 and not 18, but I didn't make the kit, so I'm not gonna complain too much because I don't want to sound like a whiny little bit. Oh, that's why. Oh, huh, oh, wait, could the Barbatos do this in the show? C could it? I actually don't know if that's a function of Barbatos in the show or not. I mean, if it is, I don't know if Mika ever used it. Wait, did I just put this on wrong? No. So it's all reversed, so my brain is hurting. All right, we're going to... I think this is literally going to be the last clip I can get, at least on this card. Uh, in fact, I'm actually just going to stop recording for now. I will get back to you guys after I've finished building all of this. Uh, kind of go over. It's, it's so hot, and, you know, fuck it. You guys need to see my actual face when I say this. Me. Like, it is so incredibly hot uh, while I'm filming this. Like, I, I need air conditioning. I need to just be able to, like, look at the instructions and build the thing. So, I will get back to you when it's done, which will... Cause I, I'm sorry, I've wandered through this entire process, but I'll get back to you when it's done, which I don't know how long it's going to be, but through the magic of editing, it is done right now. It's been, like, two more hours since I cut, and... Even without all that, this was stressful. No, really, like, this is actually probably the most stressful build I have ever, um, done. Yeah, no, like, 
this was a lot of fun, but in terms of like building things, this is the most stressful thing I've ever like built. And I have another Gundam coming on the way at some point. Uh, I'm gonna be saving like all the extra bits in the box that this thing came in. Uh, so if I ever wanna do a different pose or like have him standing with his hands open with the, the weapon stowed, I can do that. Um, there are certain extra bits that came with it that I won't just want to hold on to. I also like holding on to stuff like this for if I ever build some kind of prop. The hands especially, uh, they're completely different poses you can put the hands in. There are certain stickers on here I don't think I used, but I'm not gonna worry about it uh, since this was my first um, Gundam figure that I've ever built. I'm not gonna super be get worried if I miss some things. Yeah, like I don't actually know what to say with this. Like if you did watch all of this, the like five minutes of me fapping about like an idiot trying to figure it out and then just cutting to the end because I'm a complete and utter idiot. Hey, uh, so if you did watch all the way to the end of this however the fuck long video of me making a Gundam, thank you very much. Uh, that was like three hours, an hour and a half at minimum of like filming of I don't know how much actual usable footage there is and then uh, the rest of the time building because I just cut to the end. I have so much stuff to like move back to like this desk from over where I moved it so that I could film my shit. This is probably the longest I've ever filmed for a video and I have no fucking clue how long this video is gonna be. Anyway, if you did watch all the way in, I hope that you enjoyed it. If you would like to follow me on any of my social media, where I will potentially be posting pictures of that, because I worked hard on it. I'm probably gonna post pictures of it. Uh, then links to both my Twitter and Instagram are going to be in the description down below. If you'd like to see any other videos up from me, uh, I mostly do reviews, so most of my channel are movie reviews, uh, of more recent films that have come out, uh, what I call critical reviews. I'm gonna leave a link to a playlist somewhere on screen, either most likely right here, I think, yes, right here. This is where it's gonna go, somewhere on this part of the screen. If you'd like to watch the other video that is remotely similar to this, uh, which is where I just decided to recreate Casey Neistat shades, I will leave that linked right here somewhere. Hey guys, uh, so I am just going to be refilming the end to the video that you just saw. Um, I'm editing it. I don't really like the way that I've been ending it. So you're getting this handheld footage of me talking to my point and shoot. But I actually filmed this video about a month ago. I filmed it before I went to Mississippi with my dad, which actually puts it, I've gotten a number of videos out since then. Uh, but since then, I actually have gotten, um, so there's the Barbatos there. So that's the Barbatos Lupus Rex. That's the Barbatos Lupus. I plan on getting Barbatos so I can complete the trilogy. Uh, this is the Arbalest, one of my personal favorite. Uh, this is also just the rest of my figure shelf. I have two shelves just full of nice nerdy goodness. I had a blast building all three of those. It's actually a lot of fun. I highly recommend it if you have never done it before and want to get into it. You can find Gundams on Amazon and other places online for about like 20 bucks. It's a lot of fun, especially if you just want to try out something new like I did. But yeah, I, overall I would highly recommend doing it um, if you want to. But yeah, that's all I have for now. I know I've tried ending this video like three times and that might actually be reflected in the footage, but whatever. That is all that I have for now. I hope that y'all have a fantastic day, and as always, guys, peace out.